welcome problem solvers. Welcome to this channel. My name is Johan Oosthuis and John East, as you know. So multiplication of fractions. How to do that? This is a great tool to have in your arsenal for mathematics. Enjoy. Good day fellow problem solvers. Hope you are doing well. So yes, today we are looking at multiplications of fractions. So a few steps to, to take into consideration. When we multiply, we always multiply the numerator with the numerator. The denominator with the denominator but before we do that we have to take common fractions into consideration when we look at the numerators and denominators so let's dig in let's dive in and practice these concepts first things first that's now the common factor step is you have a look at 7 and 14 do they have a common factor yes they do 7 can divide into itself 14 can be divided by 7 and you'll get 2 but 8 and 5 do not have common factors so this means we can write this as 1 over 5 times 8 over 2 now since we don't have any other common factors remember we've done this step now we are going to multiply the numerators with numerators and then thereafter denominators with denominators so in doing so, 1 times 8 becomes 8. That's this step right there. And then over 5 times 2, which becomes 10. This step right over there. And you will notice now we're going to do exactly the same with our next question. So example number 2. Uh, let's first uh, see if there's any common factors. Remember now, that's our very first step, so common factors, that's what we're going to do now. Uh, does 5 and 7 have common factors? No, they don't. 9 and 12? Yes, they do. 3 goes into 9 3 times, and into 12 4 times. So we can write this down then as minus 3 over 7 times a negative 5 over 4. Okay, then we're going to multiply. We have it at another look, no common factor. So now when we multiply, we're going to multiply numerators with numerators, denominators with denominators. So in doing so, uh, we'll get the answer now. But remember, we see two negative signs here. And from our previous videos, remember the video on multiplication uh, of um, integers? Negative times a negative is a positive. So we'll have a positive. 3 times 5 is 15, and 7 times 4 is equal to 28. Do we have any common factors between these two, 15 and 28? No, we don't. Therefore, we are done with this question. Okay, then final question. And we're again going to look at our common factors, then the numerator, then the denominator. Uh, but this one has a little bit of a twist in it, right? You see there we've got a mixed number. Do you see the mixed number right there? 2 and 1 over 7. So the first thing is we have to write that down as an improper fraction. So this can be written down as 3 over 8 times 7 over 4 times 15 over 7. How did we do that? 2 times 7 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. Okay, so next step is now to work towards um, a common fraction a factor. So let's have a look at this. Uh, we've got a 3. Okay, nothing there. But we've got a 7. You can see the 7 cancels out with the 7 over there. It's divided by 7. Um, 8, 4, 3, 15. None of the rest are common. To each other or common factor so we can say 3 times 15 is 45 and 8 times 4 is 32 and that brings us to the end of this video so enjoy um, the next video will be on division of fractions um, thank you for your time 